those black women that are, uh, are you are you one of those black women that are like actually uh, twelve, or you you're you're forty five and you look twelve? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm eighteen, but yeah, I do have like a baby face. So oh, okay, all right, yeah. all right, cool. <laughs> but you it's great because I will check your sisters. Sisters to trick you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I, I definitely understand that. Like a lot of my friends that are even older than me, like they have baby faces. I'm like. Oh, you don't okay. look the age that you told me, but we do go to college together. So, yeah. Nice, nice. yeah. All right. What school do you go to? I go to LMU. So, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. And, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. my name is Chanel. It's great meeting you. Um, I meeting watched you. a couple of the <clears throat> new episodes, and they're definitely, they're really funny and also like really interesting and captivating. So, I'm glad yeah. I got to watch them. Cool. cool. Um, and I, I was wondering what you were looking forward to most um, this coming season. Um, looking forward to most one. I was looking forward to a, a season. That's what I was looking <laughs> for. <laughs> you know, we uh, you know famously now have or infamously, I'm not sure which one have uh, we came off of a cancellation. Um, but mm -hmm. I think that that makes the story even sweeter. You know that we came off the cancellation and then we got this wonderful season. And I I. With no cap, this is probably the best season that we've had. That's really, how, really. Yeah, it's definitely the best season for my character. Mm -hmm. um, I've had like really strong moments throughout seasons, but this is a culmination of uh, story arcs that are growing for me. So you know, I have the the uh, Cade that uh, that I that I adopted, and our story is growing. I have uh, a beautiful. Uh, girlfriend. So I have Cade Martin Martinez. I have Emily uh, Alibi that plays my girlfriend. She's 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 kicking butt this season. And um, and then I have uh, uh, I have the Shammy storyline that you know we have some beautiful beautiful uh, moments coming up as the season progresses. And um, I have my mom character, which is which is awesome, you know. Uh, and Roger Mosley, I wish Roger E. Mosley, I wish he was here to see uh, that interaction because he was always very concerned. He always wants to make sure that my character has interaction with other black characters, you know, so he would love that. <laughs> you know, That's really cool. Yeah. I think that's really important to see that within the show. So I'm glad that that's something that's shown as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you talked about like all these different characters. Um, that you're really excited for people to see the like interactions between you and them. Um, how do you think the character dynamics have changed um, from the previous seasons to now? Uh, well, I think uh, we went, we're past the introduction phase now, right? Mm -hmm. If you've been watching the show, you know who these characters are. Um, but the, the one bombshell introduction that we have now is you know, Judah Scott playing um, Verna Calvin, you know, and it's really cool that, you know, when you have another character on a show like this that has the same last name as you, so you have an actual family. And this show is already a very family-focused, family-driven show. Um, Hawaii is a very family-focused, family-driven uh, destination place to live. So we pick up all those elements, put it in our show, but now I can put in uh, that family element within the character as well, which is uh, mm -hmm. phenomenal. So uh, I, I think uh, I think that that is what has changed the most for, for, for me and probably for other characters as well. Okay. Is what is your favorite part of playing um, your character, TC? Um, I love that. I, I'm basically TC. Let me tell you something. Um, it's a little harder to tell now because we live in a world that has uh, superheroes flying around, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like there's actual heroes with power and all of the Marvel and DC films and so on and so forth. Um, but this character in the first, the OG series um, introduced a black superhero to the world, right? Um, a lot of times at that time, if you were a black actor, you were you were kind of probably in a comedy, 
right? A sitcom <clears throat> or something like that. But to have this black guy that was a business owner, he owns his own helicopter company. He is a, a, a vet, um, a, 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 a prisoner of war that escapes. And, you know, so all of these things, these are superhero qualities. And then he comes and he, and he, he, he coaches kids. Uh, you know, he's like the, the, they, they say that my character on the show is the, the, uh, the, the morality of the show, right? I'm the, I'm the moral compass of the show, right? So, uh, he's this guy that you, everybody can rely on. He, he doesn't take, if, you know, he's the friend that you want to have, right? He's the, the, the big protector. He's like, uh, you know, uh, the the big bear that you want to take with you if you feel a little scared, right? But at the same time, he has a, an awesome vulnerability and um, we get to see that and we get to see his funny side. So he's funny, he's strong, and he's a big superhero. And I, I love playing the character. Yeah, I think that's really um, interesting that you talk about that, about how, like, sometimes we don't see a lot of Black people in these types of roles. And I think it's really important that that's something that is being shown in the show. And I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely, I'd really like that to see someone so like well-rounded because yeah. that's definitely how I view like even like my own family and like myself as of just a very well-rounded person um, yeah. and not like pigeonholed into like one type of um, position or like role. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know, and I, and I, I it's, it's something that you can sit down and watch with the whole family as well. Mm -hmm. You know, not every show, and there's shows that I love that are my my favorite shows on TV. But I don't want to. I wouldn't want to sit down with the family and watch the destruction of the black community or something like that, unless it was like a teaching moment kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, but in this, you just, you know, we have, you know, there's some 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 murder, some danger on the show. You know, it has some edge to it. But at the same time, it, it's kind of like that that edge that you can brush off and go to, still go to sleep at night and, and feel good and wake up the next morning. It doesn't weigh so heavily on you that you're like carrying around the burden of the show for the for the for a week until you can see the next show. You know. Right. Yeah. yeah. That was that's a really good answer. I would definitely. Yeah, I definitely feel that from like watching the show. Yeah. Um. Are there any callbacks in like this particular season from the 80s crime series? Or is it more like since you've kind of gotten through that introduction part, is it more just like taking on a thing of its own? Well, for me, I'm always uh, honoring Roger E. Mosley. Um, mm -hmm. That was another beautiful thing. You know, he came from this time. But sometimes I feel like I was born in the wrong era. Yeah. Right? So... Like he came from a time when there really weren't that many black actors on television, right? So uh, whenever he would tell me these stories of how, you know, when people would come to visit the island, if it was another black person coming to the island, they definitely met each other, right? They would, like there was a, a meetup like that was planned and they would like hang out. Like, you know, he was telling me he was hanging out with Richard Pryor, you know? But I live in a town now where, uh, Kevin Hart could come here and he can come in and do a show and leave. And I, I never even, Oh, I didn't even know Kevin Hart was here, you know? So, uh, you know, I try, I try to still kind of make that connection when I'm, you know, Robert Glasper was here a few nights ago. I went and I tried to meet him afterwards, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I still try to make those connections. Uh, but I would say for me in honoring him, right. Cause I went to his memorial and when I tell you everybody, all of old black Hollywood was at his memorial, right? Um, you know, I was sitting there, I was talking to Richard Lawson uh, uh, and, and Mrs. Knowles, you know, like they were just all through this bar, right? And they all, the beauty is they all knew who I was because he made sure that they knew who I was. And they all told me I'm doing an excellent job, right? And uh, a couple of them told me like, yeah, we, um, we wanted to, uh, we didn't want to watch the new show, but Roger 
uh, Roger put a put a stop to that. And he said, no, you need to watch this young brother. He's doing his thing. So I had him in my corner as a mentor. And um, I'm forever grateful for that. So I'm always throwing in Easter eggs that kind of like flash back to him. If I ever say the word Higgy Baby, that's me, you know, flashing back to him. That was kind of his catch line in, in the old show. Um, and something I've done really recently, I just did it last night, is in wardrobe. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because I got a girlfriend. And, you know, girl, when you, once you get a girlfriend, sometimes, you know, she hooks you up and she like kind of like adjusts your clothing a little bit. You know, and TC's kind of like this this military kind of tough guy. And I think she unbuttons a button for him, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, I've been wearing this little gold chain now. <laughs> right? It might not seem like much, but the old TC, he would have a gold chain on and he would have his shirt unbuttoned all the way down to his belly button sometimes, <laughs> right? It was hilarious to me, but... It, for me, it's just a way, a little nod to him, right? Um, so in in wardrobe, a lot of time is how I can can nod to him. And he always wore hats and shirts that represented, you know, his his character uh, represented Grambling University a lot. He he went to hit that character went to Grambling, but I went to Hampton, and I've been able to wear a few Hampton shirts this season. So that's how you know we kind of that's the connection between the old the old and new show for me and then the helicopter that's the the one totem of both shows that is exactly the same the helicopter is exactly the same wow that's really beautiful like, I know it was that, a long answer but no it was great <laughs> I gave you great. something to extrapolate something out of that you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you so much this was a really interesting conversation and like yeah. really eye-opening to all of the like different parts of the show and different parts to your character, especially, um, and you as an actor as well. So that was, it was really a great interview. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. This was an awesome interview. Yes. Yeah. Thank you.